Slack is changing the communication game and rather than dealing with messy emails, different channels and tools to collaborate and engage with your teams, Slack offers an all-in-one digital HQ where you can simply manage multiple workspaces and communication channels through an easy to use user interface, making Slack an ideal and important free collaboration tool for remote teams. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Now today I'll be diving into an updated Slack tutorial for beginners. And in this video, I'll share everything you need to know about getting started and making the most of Slack's unlimited free plan, which is ideal for small to medium sized businesses looking to further streamline their communication and collaboration. Okay, now before we get started with Slack, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and get your organization up and running with Slack. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with Slack. Now to arrive at the web version of Slack, simply head over to your browser and type in slack.com and that will take you here. Now you can also download Slack on your desktop or on your mobile device. However, today I'm going to take you through the web version. Now the first thing we wanna do is navigate up to pricing. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, we're going to get you up and running with Slack's unlimited free plan. As you can see, you can access up to 10,000 of your team's most recent messages. You can also integrate up to 10 applications with Slack and you can also engage in one-on-one -on -one voice and video calls between your team members. Now, the great thing about Slack's unlimited free plan is you can invite unlimited users to engage with you on Slack. So basically, Slack's unlimited free plan is sufficient enough for small to medium sized businesses. Okay, so let's dive into Slack. Come down and click get started. Then go ahead and enter in your work email and come down and click continue. Then simply locate the six digit code that was sent to your email and enter in that code in here. Now it's important to note that if your organization already uses Slack and you've been invited to join Slack, then you'll be asked to sign in and you'll arrive inside your Slack account. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, what I'm going to do is create a new Slack workspace and navigate through the entire setup process. So the first thing we need to do here is go ahead and add your company's name. Or if you had a large organization, then your Slack workspace could be the name of a team within your organization. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are a small business, so we're gonna name our workspace as our business name. And then like I mentioned before, if I decide to keep this selected, then anyone within my organization can sign up with their business email and access this workspace. So I want to keep this selected. And once you've completed this step, simply click next. Then up here, simply add anything that your team is currently working on. What I'm going to do is add marketing plan for client A. And don't worry too much about this section, we're gonna talk more about this later on. Then come down and click next. Now, the magic of Slack truly shows when you invite your entire team. However, what we're gonna do is show you how to invite team members within your Slack dashboard. So what we're gonna do is come down and click skip this step. And then skip step. Then give Slack a moment to load your workspace. And congratulations, just like that, we've completed the initial setup of creating a new Slack workspace. Now, before we go ahead and cover all the amazing features and elements within Slack, what we wanna do is invite team members. Simply navigate over to the left-hand side and click add teammates. Then simply add your team members' emails in here. 
and you also have the option to simply copy the invite link and send that link directly to your team members that you want to join your Slack workspace. Then once you've added all your team members, simply click send and done. And as you can see, if we navigate over to the left hand side, you can see that we now have four team members that are part of our Slack workspace. Okay, so now that we've added our team members into Slack, what we want to do is break down and understand our Slack account so we can make the most of this collaboration and communication tool with our organization. Essentially, to understand Slack in simple terms, Slack is broken down into three main areas. First, we have your workspace. So remember, at the beginning of this tutorial, we created our workspace called Stuart Gould Consulting. And for small businesses, one workspace is sufficient enough within Slack to engage and communicate with your teams. However, if you are a medium or large sized enterprise, then it might be useful to add additional workspaces to manage your different departments, teams or businesses. Okay, so if we click out of this, the top level is the Slack workspace. And then we have channels over on the left hand side. Now think about channels as groups used to organize and manage the communication between topics, teams and projects within your organization. And this is a more streamlined way to communicate and engage with your teams rather than back and forth messy emails like we mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial. Basically Slack uses channels to eliminate the need to use messy emails. And down here, when we initially signed up with Slack and created our workspace, we also created a channel. Now this is for a project called Marketing Plan Client A. So this is a marketing plan project for a client of ours. However, what we can do is come down here and click add channel to create a new channel or simply navigate next to channels and click add channels. And remember channels can be used to group and manage anything. For example, we could create a channel for our sales team, accounting team, projects team, web design team, customer service team, and any important group or area within our organization. So if I click add channels, I can come down and click create a channel. And for example, I'm going to come down and add sales team. And then we can come down and add a brief description about our new channel. And I quickly added this channel group is for our sales team only. Then below the description, we can choose to make this channel private or public. Now, if we choose to set this channel to private, this means that only team members that have been invited to this channel can see and engage with this channel. However, if I leave this channel private, then everyone within my workspace can engage and see this channel. And for the purpose of this sales team channel, I want to make sure that this channel is private to our sales team only by coming down and turning this on. And then once you've added all your details to your channel, come down and click create. Then if you made your channel private, like we have done, what we need to do is add our team members that can access this channel. Then simply click add. And then if we navigate back over to the left hand side and under channels, you can see that we now have four channels. We have one private channel and three public channels. If you see a lock icon next to your channel, this means that that channel is private. If you see a hash symbol, that means that channel is public and any of your team members within your workspace can access those public channels. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is navigate over to marketing plan client a channel. This is a public channel and click here. And now what we want to do is dive into the message capabilities. And this is the core to what Slack is all about. And that is internal communication, streamlining communication through a chat system. So for example, if I navigate down to this chat box and enter in my first message to this channel, and down here you have formatting options available for your message. We can also navigate over to the right hand side and before we send this message, we can hide formatting, 
we can mention someone so for example we could mention everyone in this team we can also play around with emojis and we can also attach files then if we want to send this message to this channel simply click send now or you can schedule this message for later I'm going to go ahead and send this message now to this channel and because this is a public group everyone within our workspace can see this message on this channel and when you hover over a message that has been sent in a channel you will see these actions on the right hand side so for example if i decided to send a message and tag a team member asking them if they've completed a specific task then what they could do is they can click completed taking a look or react with a different emoji or leave a reply in a thread and then we have other actions next to reply now threads similar to email threads are basically connected conversations so if you have many people on a singular channel and they're all talking about different things then you can start specific threads with each message to stay organized and relevant on specific topics now to notify a team member all i do is come down to send a message and i would type in at and when you type in the at symbol you have these different options for example if you type in at and then here you can notify every online member in this channel if you type in at then channel you can notify everyone in this channel then we have individuals or team members that are part of this channel for example i can come down and select liam and type in can you please get started on the action plan and then I can navigate over and send that message now because I've tagged or mentioned Liam in this message he will be notified that he's been mentioned in this channel and we can also come down to compose a message and type in forward slash and that's going to generate shortcuts that you can use in your message now if we exit out of this and navigate down below our message we can also access shortcuts by clicking this lightning bolt here okay so now that we understand how to use slack channels and the chat capabilities within slack we can now move on to the third area that makes up slack and that is direct messages this is where you can send private direct messages to your team members for example if i want to send a direct message to felix i would select felix and then once he's joined this organization i can send messages directly to felix rather than a group channel and then you have the same options in terms of formatting your messages okay now if you're trying to locate topics or different discussions conversations anything within slack what you can do is simply navigate up to the search bar in the center and click here and you can search for essentially anything for example if i type in action plan and then come down and click search messages files and more this is where i can find for example the thread that talks about the action plan that i want liam to execute and as you can see that was in this public channel over here called marketing plan client a and that was on october the 7th so essentially you can find anything within your slack account by simply using the slack search feature now like i mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial with the free unlimited plan you have access to up to 10 applications at any given time to integrate with your slack account so if we navigate over to browse slack and then we come down to apps and this is where you can further streamline your communication and collaboration within your organization by integrating important apps that you use on a daily basis with slack for example if your organization uses google workspace and you have a google drive that has all your organization's documents and folders then you could simply integrate google drive and then when you're communicating on channels or through direct messages to your team members you can quickly access your files and folders directly through the integration with google drive and like i mentioned the overly generous free unlimited plan that slack offers allows you to integrate up to 10 apps at any given time okay now before we finish up it's important to make sure that all your personal preferences are correct within your slack account so for example if we navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on our profile 
We can come down and update our status. We can pause notifications for 30 minutes or any of these options. Then we can also come down and customize our profile. And we also have preferences. If we click on preferences, and this is where you want to take your time to configure and confirm all your notifications. So go through the left hand sidebar and make sure that all these settings are correct based on your requirements. And that is everything we wanted to cover in today's Slack tutorial to help you and your organization get up and running with Slack. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's comprehensive Slack tutorial to help your organization completely adopt Slack to further enhance your collaboration and communication in your workplace. Now, if you have any questions about Slack, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and remember to subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you next week. Take care guys, see you later.